War Eagle 4525 wants to know if we can do a video on Calypso Resort. I didn't even know I could do the Calypso. Who <laughs> <laughs> has more fun than us? Welcome to the channel. I am Matt the Lizard, your guide in this adventure and exploration. Today, we're going to check out Beach Access 53. We're here with the beautiful Gulf of Mexico as a backdrop. We're very close to Pier Park and the City Pier. Which you can see beyond me there. We're going to do some videos on that eventually. Beautiful day. We just skirted some rain. The county just put up the red flag, which means hazardous conditions. But you're not prohibited from swimming. They just want you to be smarter. They don't want to scare anybody off. Uh, the purple flags, dangerous marine life, have been removed a couple days ago. Remember, keep both hands inside the video and keep... Remember, keep both hands inside the ride until the video comes to a complete stop. Come on, let's go see what's going on around here. Okay, we're here at Beach Access 53. You can see the usual warnings posted. Educational. Right now we're at a red flag. The purple one was being flown this week. Uh, apparently the danger has subsided. You still have to be cautious. That big bowl of water out there, which some call an ocean, most locals call the Gulf. It's not a swimming pool. It has inherent dangers, much like a lot of things in life. You gotta respect it. But it is beautiful. I mean, take a look at that view. You can see Sterling Breeze down that way. The city pier. And if you can see the little white sign there, it lets you know that that side of the pier is a small dog beach. Which a lot of tourists ask about, where can I bring my dog to the beach? You can bring it there. Just pick up after Rover. All right, we're gonna check out the Calypso Beach Resort, which is three towers. It was built in three phases. I think the beachside ones were built during the first building boom, 2006, 2008. And I wanna say that this one has been recently finished. They got a, uh, a bold color scheme. Pretty tall, probably 21 floors, which is the most. Oops. There goes the beach safety. Doing their job. Thanks guys and gals, whoever's driving. You can see a bunch of the rental chairs out there. A lot of people here on the beach today. It's a nice day. It was raining for just a minute. I almost turned around and went home. But then I said, you know, the typical Florida rule, if you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes. You'll get something you might like a little bit better. Over that way is kind of the uh, pier store. We'll, we'll do a video on that eventually, too. Um, when I first moved here, what you're looking at, Margaritaville and Ron John, that used to be just parking. Um, there was a gravel lot and a kind of a stone three-foot wall. And the rest of all of this was all just undeveloped. They would have the Indian Summer Seafood Festival here, which is, I don't believe, a thing anymore. Uh, that was pretty cool. They had some concerts. And the rest of the year, it stayed closed. There might be the occasional special event. But now, look. <laughs> look at everything they built. <laughs> well, that's weird. That place used to have a glass wall around it. I think they replaced it. I wonder if it got broken. Hopefully not. Well, anyway, you can see the parking situation over here. We're, we're right at Pier Park. But if you're going to the beach right here, it's a very popular spot. There's maybe a room for 20 cars down here. There's a couple of handicap accessible places. There's a couple of spots that are uh, city, county, pier employee spots. But I came here early this morning, just kind of check things out. And I was surprised I could not find a spot 
course it is you know almost summertime technically i would say it probably is summertime not till the 20th 20th of june it's hot enough to be summer so the people are here which is good because tourism is the lifeblood of our economy it contributes to the economy the military not problems it doesn't cause problems it puts a stress on our local resources when we have an excess amount of guests here um but it sure beats the heck out of paying state income tax so i'm all for it we'll take a walk down see what it looks like over here at the calypso and see the emergency vehicle access we're not like uh, daytona uh, where you can drive on the beach if you have four-wheel drive here you have to have a permit and you're really not going to get the permit unless you have business down there you're a vendor of some kind so, nice. <laughs> youtube <laughs> okay you can take kind of take a look here they have some private parking underneath as expected be a seven foot clearance so be careful with those SUVs with the roof racks or large trucks, U-Hauls, things like that. They're not going to go in there. Uh, they do have an auxiliary lot across the street that they share probably with the NBC Suites. I'm sure they've worked it all out. Their entrance lobby. So you can see the Calypso Beach and Towers. Towers 1 and Tower 2 behind me. Entrance lobby. And across the street is Tower 3. And they have a big, huge parking garage over there as well. I'm not sure how many rooms are here. But you can see what's kind of nearby. I'll take a shot down Front Beach Road. <laughs> In the distance, that building with the triangles on it is the Hyatt place. Probably one of the newer places that were completed here. Um, I've been inside. It's really nice. Not that the Calypso is not nice, but that's new. And they have a place called Coconut Charlie's in there that has a, a poolside bar. And half of their pool is like a lazy river. It's basically inside or it's covered. So that makes it kind of shady. My wife really liked that because she doesn't go into the full sun. She's fair skinned. But that's a neat place. We'll probably do a review down there at Coconut Charlie's when I do the access point over there. You can kind of see the size of the building, how tall it is. I love those balconies, very kind of Mediterranean, Spanish. And next to the Osprey and the Driftwood Lodge. Older places, but still staying full. And you can see uh, Front Beach Road traffic, which goes right in front of Calypso. And the Calypso has a nice footbridge to go between buildings on property. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to take my chances on the road. That was nice. Somebody let me cross. Even though I was kind of uh, jaywalking. We can get a close-up view. There's the Calypso in here. We'll cross over their retail section, see what they got. Take a look here. You can see they have a helpful sign. This is everything they have. Around the corner, all kinds of good snacks and food, take and bake. Casseroles. Hmm. I guess that's good if you have a kitchenette. Most of these do have kitchen service. You don't have to eat out every time. This is in front of uh, Tower 3. Tower 1 and Tower 2 are across the street. See, they have a gift shop and a food court. I've never been in here. They sell bagged ice, that's nice for your cooler, and they have an ATM. Sometimes those are kind of hard to find. So many things have gone cash free that I think it's become less and less profitable for people to have an ATM, but sometimes you want to have some cash. 
All right, I'm gonna go inside, see what they got in there. A few of the things that they have inside. Little souvenir shop, handy at the base of the condo here. And you can see they have a little diner, it has a few different types of food. They're serving breakfast. Can't see what's on their menu. It smells good. Ooh, some drinks and whatnot. Some fruit, so you can some healthy choices in there. Donuts. If you take a picture, it'll last longer. In the words of Tampa J, QR code for ordering from the Emerald Hub PCB. Some food. You can kind of see their little cabanas that you can rent or reserve. And they have a big, giant, beautiful pool. I'm not gonna go in there because I'm not a guest, but you can see it's pretty big. Looks refreshing, looks like it kind of ducks, ducks in below there. I was hoping this place was open. Coco Locos. I'm gonna go see what time they open. Well, there you have it, and there it is. Thanks for watching this one today uh, at Beach Access 53 in Eclipso Beach Resort. I'm gonna continue further down the beach, or I might go further down the coast on my next video. We're going to keep that as a secret until I'm sure we're going to do it because once you say you're going to do it, you have to do it. If you enjoyed what you saw here, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know when I upload new videos, hit the notification bell. I appreciate all that. I'm really pushing for subscribers right now. So if you liked what I did here today, if you could share this on your social and request a, a, a subscription for me, that'd be good. I'm really getting very close to where I can get to the magic number for YouTube. So I would appreciate that. And I appreciate anything else you guys do for me. And thank you. Comments, corrections down below is always welcome. That's good for the algorithm as well. All right. Well, remember, you are important. And the world needs more people like you. At the Lizard, out.